We are done with New Jersey and on to New York. State line, another one down. Hello and welcome to New, New York. York. As soon as we cross into New York, this is the highest point in New York on the AT, not the highest point in New York. But you can see down here, there's Greenwood Valley, which we're gonna cross through. Tara's picking up a package there. From So we just got a hitch into Greenwood Lake so Tara can pick up a package. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? And drugs? Great. Thank you all so much. I'm trying not to cry. Storm's coming. So last night it was threatening to rain and it was thundering and the sky was getting dark. So we cut our hike a little short and ended up at a shelter. Boy, was that a huge mistake. It didn't end up raining until this morning sometime, just very light rain. We stayed in the shelter and there were mosquitoes all night long and just persistent, able to find any crack in your quilt or something to sneak up and get you. And some other people in the shelter were rolling around all night long. So it was just not, a good night to sleep. I keep remembering why I don't like shelters. That's why. We've been lucky with a few to ourselves, but I don't know. I think it might be better to camp from here on out.
So we are now entering into New York's Harriman State Park. And it's a really cool place. It's beautiful up here. You can see the forest has some pretty big trees and it's just really open. You can see all around you. Like you can almost see to the top of the ridge up there, which is steep. Also, it makes it hard to poop. There's nowhere to hide. What are you doing, huh? A little bitty one. Show you my finger. Boop. <laughs> oh my, my dress. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible place for a pack cover.
Welcome to Fingerboard Shelter. Just hold on there. Blueberries. Well, that's where we're headed. That is Bear Mountain. You can see a little tower up there. We'll be there soon. Check it out, a chestnut. <laughs> now, I guess. This is an American chestnut. It's just somehow not succumbing to the blight. I mean, you can tell it's not doing very well. It's definitely dying, but apparently it's gotten old enough to fruit, which is pretty interesting. That's a big one. Huh. Or maybe it's a different type of chestnut. There's the Hudson. Out there is New York City. We're certainly back in civilization now. This is the infamous zoo on the AT. We just got out of Bear Mountain and got a ride up into Fort Montgomery, New York to pick up an amazing resupply from Dwayne. Check it out. Oh. 
Two whole boxes. This is a lot. We're definitely going to have to forward one to the next stop as well. Thanks so much, Dwayne. I'm excited to see what's inside. <laughs> There's so much good stuff here. This is awesome. I think this barbecue stop was meant to be. All right, so we went into Fort Montgomery and got that amazing resupply package. So big thanks to Dwayne. Uh, I got the cookie butter, thank you. Yeah, it was awesome. And we are now headed across the Hudson on the bridge, which is the lowest point on trail, for whatever that's worth. Onward and upward through New York, Connecticut's next. Like we've reached a real low point on trail. Well, there's where we came from. And there's where we're going. We just crossed over the Hudson and now we are climbing down the backside of what's known as Anthony's Nose, which is this little steep climb right after you cross the bridge. And I figured I would share another story with y'all. Last time I was on the AT, Rainbow Eyes and I were hiking together around that time. And it was really late. So late that we didn't get to go through the little zoo by the bridge. But we decided to push through, go up and over the nose and camp for the night somewhere. So we were pushing pretty late. We got over the nose, but by that time it was almost dark. Or maybe it was dark. We just found this random campsite up top and decided to call that a night. And I remember setting my hammock up, eating dinner, sitting down in the dirt to eat dinner. And I had my headlamp on because it was dark out. There were just these little shiny, shimmery, it almost looked like glitter on my arms. And I was like, why, where did I come across glitter? What's going on? And it turns out I had sat on a tick nest and there were hundreds, and I mean literally hundreds, probably more than that, of tiny nymph ticks crawling all over my body. And it was rough. That was one of maybe two times on the AT where I considered getting off, just because that entire night, I, I picked off as many as I could, but they were so tiny, which in the end was a good thing because it meant that they weren't carrying Lyme disease but just all night I sat in my hammock crawling. My skin was crawling. I could feel them everywhere, even though I had gotten off as many as I could find. That was, I felt like going insane or something. That was a trying time on trail. One of my most trying times maybe. And it's not even related to anything physical or hard, it's just ticks. Just thought I'd share that. Check this monster out. My foot for comparison. So right off the AT is the Appalachian Deli, which has really good food. And it's so convenient. Look how big this tree is. Anybody know what the sound is? I have never heard this. 
sounds like it's coming oh closer. God, are those eyes in the tree? No. Can't quite see it. It's definitely some sort of owl. Well, as you can tell, we are night hiking once again. Uh, got a bit of a late start out of Fort Montgomery today. So we figured we'd just make up for it with some night hiking. Plus it feels really nice right now. It's nice and cool. A perfect night for a night hike. Good morning. So I was thinking about some questions that I had seen in the comments on a recent video, and I realized that I had never really put it out there, but if you all ever have any questions that you want answered, feel free to leave them below in the comments or message me. I'll do my best to get back to you when I have time, or even better, if they're somehow relevant in a video, I'll try to answer them in that video. This is the RPH hiker shelter, which is right by a road, which means you can order delivery. Chinese food for lunch. I think we ended up doing exactly 23 miles yesterday, which is our biggest day so far. So that feels pretty good. I know we're both definitely sore now. Tara's got some blisters and she's feeling it. And my ankles are a little sore, but overall feeling good and ready for the new day.
This lake is Nuclear Lake, named for a plutonium research facility that was nearby that had a chemical explosion, which I guess leaked into the lake, but apparently it was deemed safe in the 70s, according to Gut Hook. Interesting. So this is the Dover Oak, and it's purported to be the largest tree on the AT at around six feet in diameter. It's pretty impressive. You wanna make like a real big lunch? I might put the tuna too, I don't know. I'm gonna have to something. Well, we came down from up there. Now, we're in pasture. Looks like a Windows desktop out here. So this train goes all the way into New York City. We're stopping here at Wiley Shelter for some dinner. More like dinner. Dinner. That's kind of late. <laughs> oh no. Uh, someone was asking the other day how long these fuel canisters last us, and we're using the small one. We've had oh, this man. exact canister since the very beginning for over 400 something miles now, wherever we're at. So I would say a long time. Uh, obviously, we're not cooking breakfast or lunch. All we do is boil mm. about a cup and a half of water at boil. dinner. And it's filtered water, so we just heat it to boiling or just really hot and turn it off. We don't keep it boiling most times. We have a few times. But, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of boils off this tiny little canister. So. They're a lot more efficient than people give them credit for. How many days you get out of it just depends how often you boil with it, yeah. but... Are you a coffee fiend? We're not. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're doing just a boil each night, I would expect almost a month out of them. I mean, we're over a month now, but... Yeah, pretty cool. Well, we're night hiking, but we have officially crossed into Connecticut. Although I think we crossed back out a few more times, but this is the official crossing, I guess. Well, we night hiked last night mm. and uh, set up next to the Housatonic River. The cool thing is we are in Connecticut. A new state uh, although we will weave back out of it just for a few miles but I say it counts uh, we'll be in Kent today it's about eight miles from here 8.6 8.6 and 
We'll get some good resupply and a few other little treats. Pulls. But I figured first I'd let you check out this sweet view we have after setting up in the dark. A privy.